Dave Gardy here for Golf Center TV at the Washington Golf Center's corporate couch. And I have here with me Miss Bridget Bell and teaching pro Kirk Lucas, who are going to talk about grip. Take it away, Kirk. We're right in the midst of bowl season. We're not going outside. We're not hitting a lot of balls. But we sure are worried about our darn grip. Now, how can we improve it? How can we make it perfect? How can we learn without leaving the couch? That's today's lesson. Well, we're supposed to grip this, but it's much easier to learn with this. We take our metal ruler and we hand it to Bridget here. She's going to grab it in just your left hand and straight up and down like that's the club face. Go ahead and grab it one more time. Good. You feel how stable and secure it is and it's easy to hold and the ruler feels nice and light. Mm -hmm. Those are all characteristics or traits of a correct grip. Now, had we all learned to do this, we'd have been much better, much sooner, much earlier, and golf wouldn't have been as difficult as it, as it is. And what we've done is we've taught you to grip the club perfectly without doing anything at all. Now, what are the characteristics of a good grip? Well, first of all, if you were to hold the club up this way, what you're going to see is that the club is very much in her fingers. Very simple. The second thing we're going to see is that this V that the whole world's been talking about for years and years and years, where's it pointing? Just up here at your right ear or even somewhat at your chin. So that's a nice, neutral, terrific grip. What you'll also see is this first knuckle is very much separated from the last three. And the golf club is perfectly stable and perfectly secure. It's a really easy way to do it. The next thing that we'll notice <clears throat> is you can easily hold the club here, now release these last three fingers. See how it's nice and stable in there? Just bounce it around a little bit. See how it's really not going anywhere? Mm -hmm. Good. And that's a sign that this golf club works up underneath this pad right here as opposed to in between the pads in your hand or the palm. Feel how heavy the club is? Mm -hmm. And that's what we see time and time and time again. People grip it too much in their palm, whether the golf club's too short, whether they've learned incorrectly. And you can see how your wrist is out of position here. You can feel how heavy it is. It'd be really difficult to create a, a golf swing without a tremendous amount of tension with that. Not to mention your wrist can't work correctly. Your club face is going to be all messed up. and It's just going to be a miserable game for you. So the first thing that we'll note is if you were to open your palm, is we'll put this very much in your fingers and right underneath that pad. And now you've gripped the club absolutely perfectly. Now what do we do with the other hand? We've got to do something with the right hand. So what we're going to do with it is we're going to just go ahead and take your right palm, and if I were to squeeze it together, you can see that crevice that the two pads create. And all we're going to do is put this left thumb in that crevice. So go ahead and go ahead and grip it there. Now, you've got a tour grip. Absolutely perfect. It's fabulous. Can't get any better. Now, you could hold the golf club as light as you care to and hit golf balls and swing, and it's not going to go anywhere. And that's just a testament to the fundamentally proper grip that you have. Well, this is all great and fine, and if this were your golf club, you could see how the club face is nice and square there. And if you were to just to make some little swings back and through, it would just go ahead and come back to square each time. Don't You can hit me, I don't mind. <laughs> go ahead and make a little back swing. Um, and that's a really good way to learn your grip. Grab something in the shape of a ruler and just continue to put your hands on, take them off, put them on, take them off. And you'll start to notice some things, how it feels, how it looks. Um, and that's a great way to learn your grip. Next step got to somehow figure out how to make this go from there to here. Now, what the golf club companies do is, is oftentimes on the grips, they give us these diagrams, and this should be here, and that should be there, and this should be over here, and it's pretty confusing for me. Now, how am I supposed to figure this out? I just want to hit the golf ball, right? I just want to get it near. Well, we can use the same methodology that we used with the ruler to grip this. So we'll go one more time. Hold your left hand out. We'll run it across your fingers and underneath the last pad here. Feel how it's up underneath there mm -hmm. or it's wedged in there? There's your grip. Fabulous. And that's the same thing that we're going to try to achieve or accomplish here when we put the, the round rubber thing in your hands. Now, we'll switch. Hold the club face up here with, and hold it just in your right hand. Put your right hand up here on the shaft. So now you can see the club face is straight up and down or nice and square. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're going to come in. We're going to run it across your fingers and up that pad again. You see how this pad's right up underneath it? Mm -hmm. And then just go ahead and grip down. You notice how your thumb's just on the side of the shaft there. Good. And just try to feel it. And is it as stable as it was with the ruler? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, it is. One more time. 
So we can watch a ball game. You can do a bunch of these and just hold it in your left hand and just start to feel how it stable it feels and comfortable it is and it's almost molded to your hand perfectly. Mm -hmm. Now, transfer it there. Terrific. So there's your left hand grip. Beautifully Perfect. done. Perfect. Yeah. Now, we'll take your right hand, squeeze it together in this crevice here. We're going to just hide your left thumb. Beautifully done. Now you've got a fabulous grip. Let's play. Let's go. <laughs> All right. That's it. Today's couch lesson.